It is always incredible to see when one person just goes ahead and creates something. David of Ferro Design couldn't find a bag to his liking, so he just went ahead and created his own bag. Hi, my name is Boris Mono, I'm a film editor based in Hamburg, Germany. And this is a quick look of the Ferro Design Day Ferro. The Day Ferro is an 18 liter backpack designed for the office, but that doesn't shy away to be taken to the gym as well. It is a combination out of a top loader and a clamshell opening backpack. You can open the bag via this magnetic buckle and this flap to get to the main compartment with its bright inner lining. But if you need more access to load the bag, you can open these two zippers and fully open the main compartment. Check out the video in the info tab above to see how I loaded the bag. It fitted surprisingly lots of stuff and was very easy to load. Inside this lid you can find two organizational compartments, one of which is made out of mesh to see all the small items. Admittedly, I am a sucker for these types of compartments. I use these compartments in the lid of the main compartment quite a lot. If there was one thing to improve with these two compartments, then I would give them a little bit more volume. Continuing with the main compartment, you can find this document holder and this. This is actually the reason why I said that this bag doesn't shy away from going to the gym. This is a separate shoe compartment that is accessible via the outside bottom of the bag. I usually don't use these compartments and just roll the excessive fabric up at the bottom. And Ferro Design actually thought about this and attached a velcro strap to keep this fabric in place. Continuing on the outside of the bag, you will find two accessory straps to attach a tripod or maybe a yoga mat for instance. But while they are well made and a nice visual touch, I personally wouldn't actually use them to carry items. On the front of the bag, there is a quick access compartment that also houses the additional tech pouch. This pouch is in general a nice idea, but I personally didn't like to use it, as it is quite slim and my tech items are thicker. While my charger and mouse fit into it, it just didn't feel perfect to me. But for just a charger, cables and dongles, it is okay. Speaking of tech, to storage your 15-inch laptop, there is this laptop compartment that has a StormGuard zipper. And right above it, there is this incredible top handle. This thing is just awesome. It looks good, is very comfortable and due to its size, it just feels natural to just grab it. On one side of the bag you can find an expandable bottle holder and on the other side two small quick access compartments. These are very tight though, which meant I was only able to fit slim items into them. For instance, cards, my phone or wallet. Continuing with quick access compartments, there are two hidden ones. One in the back panel and one in the shoulder strap. Okay, let's talk about the shoulder straps and the back panel. At first glance, the shoulder straps are very well made and well padded, but the padding feels very stiff. And I'm not sure if this is an issue of being a pre-production unit though. This stiffness made the bag not as comfortable to carry as I first anticipated. The lumbar support on the back panel was actually pushing a little too strong on my lower back. While this did not in particular cause any discomfort, it just didn't feel right, even after readjusting the straps. While the bag is very well made and uses very durable and weather resistant materials, I need to remind you that in my humble opinion, it doesn't matter if a material is water resistant or even waterproof, if there are any openings through which water can get into the bag. And due to the hybrid design of the bag, i.e. clamshell opening and top loader, water can get through this top opening if you aren't diligent when closing the bag. For instance, if you close the bag and don't properly fold these parts, rain will get into the main compartment. And even if you fold them up properly, in a rainstorm with strong winds, water can still get inside theoretically. Keep in mind that this is a quick look of a pre-production unit and not a review. That being said, the bag is already in a very impressive status and I enjoyed using it. Especially seeing how easily and how much I was able to fit into the 18 liters was surprising and impressive at the same time. 
While the bag wasn't as comfortable to carry as I wanted to, I think that is something that can be improved in the final product. Also, I would give the quick access compartments on this side a little bit more volume because in practice I wasn't able to fit a lot of stuff into them as they are very tight and only fit like slim items, for instance my phone or some cards. But other than that, I think Ferro Design created a very good bag. And I admire the passion and especially the courage to just go ahead and create a bag because you weren't able to find a bag that fits your requirement. So if you're looking for a good bag for the office that you also can take to the gym, then you might want to take a look at the Ferro Design Dayfarer. But like always, if you have any more questions, please comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, click the like button. And please feel free to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell icon so you won't miss the next videos. Thanks.